Welcome to another round of my little Get Out of My Series. Today, I have, of course, something special in these times of crisis. Uh, and I come back to uh, yeah, a significant uh, amount of comments under my videos uh, from people, also younger people, who asked, can you do something out, outside of the vintage realm? Uh, so so um, uh, cheaper guitars, budget guitars. And um, yeah, in these times of crisis, while it is very hard to get vintage guitars without social contacts, it's not so easy. We are set for the next lockdown. I don't want to bore you to death with that, but that's the situation here right now in Germany. Uh, yeah, uh, by accident, I got hold of this guitar, which is interesting. It's a 2013 uh, Gibson Les Paul 60s tribute model. And um, it's, it's not original anymore. I had exactly this guitar a while back and made a video for it uh, in its original uh, state, but this is now the pimped state modified. You see gold hardware, it's original um, Gibson hardware, a, a new bridge, a new um, stop tail piece. Uh, original Gibson Deluxe tuners, also in gold. It, it, it wasn't like that before. The pickups uh, have been changed. The pickups are Seymour Duncan's from the Antiquity series. And as the name suggests, they are um, yeah, modeled after the yeah, late 50s, 60s uh, sound, which means also they don't have that much output. They have, in fact, less output than the original pickups, but Let's see in here um, what a difference that makes. So I found this interesting. And the electronics have been changed. It's uh, changed to um, 50s wiring. And um, the owner did find and put the so-called bumblebee capacitors inside. So the behavior of the electronics are really giving the vintage feel. And here I have a Epiphone Les Paul, which is called Les Paul 1960 Tribute Plus. So both guitars bear the name 60s Tribute in their name. And um, this Epiphone has also been slightly modified. Um, as you can see here in the detail, uh, the pickups obviously have been changed. These are Seymour Duncan Alnico 2 Pro Slash Humbuckers with a yeah, significantly more output than the original pickup. So it's the other way around in pimping style compared to this uh, Gibson 60s uh, Tribute model because the original Epiphone pickups are typically on the weak side from my experience because Epiphone Les Pauls, um, they, they, they offer a certain quality in, in terms of playability and overall manufacturing quality but the pickups that's always something you can say huh ah, <laughs> i wish i had so i thought to myself what can i do um yeah to compare these guitars to to make it entertaining for you while the guitars are very different from the pickups alone um but in general, both guitars are yeah, somewhat around the same price range. The Gibson is a bit more expensive than the Epiphone. But let's see if we hear the big difference. Um, I can say in advance, both guitars are guitars which can be played and, and make a lot of fun. And um, in, in reality, many guitar players um, buy guitars in that price range. So. It's also for me interesting to have these two guitars here and, the, and to test them. But I expect, of course, the Epiphone to be much hotter and um, this one here more accentuated. Let's see if, if it turns out while playing that this is true. And of course, <clears throat> I thought to myself, how can I do it? How, how can I compare the guitars that you uh, have a little bit fun? Um, so I decided I have three playbacks this time, but shorter playbacks and um, without too much changes so that I don't play with a guitar and blend over and then I play the chorus with the other guitar that makes no sense. So I, I want to compare them in the same um, position in the same uh, musical situation. So before I bubble too much, I start with a uh, high gain uh, example. Um, for that I use a Marshall JCM 2000 Dual Super Lead, 100 watts, it's a little bit tickled and uh, yeah, 
Have fun. And um, yeah, you maybe heard, of course, a difference between both guitars. Uh, the pickups here are the main difference. Um, what you probably heard was that the Epiphone with the Slash Pro humbuckers yeah, is more bassy and, of course, has more gain. Um, and um, the Gibson Tribute 60s model here with the Antiquity series pickups has more yeah, neck neck going on. You know, the, the pinched notes uh, come more easy, uh, better controllable. Um, overall, it can be said that the neck here on the on the Epiphone is yeah, <laughs> it says made in China. <laughs> but <clears throat> I have to say. It's very comfortable to play on. It's more comfortable than, than on the Gibson. It's only one uh, step below, but both guitars play very well. And the difference is not that big, isn't it? Yeah, before I bubble too much, I come to my next playback. It's less gain, it's more crunch. And for this example, I changed the amplifier. I use my uh, using Ketner Tube Meister 36 here. Um, because I'm, I'm, I'm used to that and I can do more justice to the guitars because I have the amp here in the room and not in the recording room. It makes it easier for me to, to hear what is going on, you know? And uh, this being said, have fun! Thank you. 
Yeah, maybe you heard. Both guitars, also in this playback example, sound a little bit different. The handling of both guitars for me is different. Um, in this playback, I, I felt more comfortable on, on the Gibson here. But um, yeah, that's also because of, of, of the pickups, because these low output, these vintage uh, style pickups, uh, I'm very used to that. I'm vintage myself. And um, so I have a little bit more easy, you know, turning the knobs and knowing how the dynam dynamics will unfold while uh, the Epiphone still sounds good, isn't it? And uh, it, it plays good. Both guitars play good. So it can be said that with budget guitars, uh, you, you don't need to have a budget playing, if you know what I mean. And um, if they are pimped like these two with love and care, um, it, it really improves the tone of the guitars and the character. And uh, yeah, not too shabby. And um, yeah, to come finally to my third playback, it's just more cleanish, you know. I do a little bit funky picking because this is also something done very often in, in younger bands, you know, all the energy, a nice funky rhythm sound. Of course, this doesn't apply to heavy metal bands, but from my experience, many people play these uh, funky riffs in, in, in jams and then they want to have this bang bang guitar. So yeah, before I bubble too much, I simply turn the playback on. Have fun. You have also an idea how the guitars behave uh, in a more clean rhythm environment. Just to give you an idea. While I was tuning the guitars before hitting the record, not here, uh, I, uh, I played something and I uh, by accident I, I didn't bypass the uh, effects unit and it uh, had a very extreme reverb uh, on it. I found this to be very interesting because when I played with this guitar, I said, wow, what is going on? I realized it was the missing bypass. But um, I play a few notes that you understand my sentiment. And it's interesting again to hear the difference between the Epiphone um, 60s tribute model uh, and the Gibson 60s tribute model with this effect setting. It's interesting. They are different. You decide which guitar behaves better. interesting but it's clear the Gibson has the better dynamics 
This has to do with the pickups, but this also has to do with the hardware and the wood. But, um, yeah, preferences are different. That's all I can say. I feel more dynamics in the Gibson to rescue the brand. <laughs> But apart from that, the Epiphone Les Paul uh, uh, fight it well. So it's not much of a difference. Neither in sound, neither in possibilities, neither in playability, and also the overall quality. Both guitars are very well crafted. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you some ideas. Uh, you decide. And I hope you were entertained a little bit. This being said, I'm at the end of my little guitar demo for today. And... Um, yeah, I wish you a nice springtime and uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.